This is the most monstrous car we have taken out for fast laps yet. It is a 1,030 Newton meters producing Chevy Camaro, and it's been supplied to us by a chap called Gary, who's thrown so many parts at it, that it's basically a one of one ZL1 model. Now, he comes from the Sporting Bears Club, an amazing organization. Find out what they do for children's charities in the link below. But for now, let's jump behind the wheel and see how quick it is at Rockingham. of American muscle with a supercharger wipe. Things don't get much more monstrous than this. And I mean, this is a one of one Chevrolet Camaro. I mean, they technically there are 12 of these ZL1s in the UK, but Gary, who owns this car, you can find him on Instagram at ZL1 UK. Well, he has really put his own touch on this beast of a vehicle. Firstly, under the bonnet, that 6.2 litre motor, it has gone up from 650 horsepower to 770 horsepower. And get this, 1,030 newton meters of torque. That is muscle to move a continent. I mean, this car is pretty big though, so it probably needs it. But at the same time, I'm just short shifting through the gears and I can feel it just has no issue whatsoever picking up from any revs. Then there's the suspension, it's on lowering springs and it's got stiffer damping as well. It's adjustable magnetic damping. And my God, does it turn in amazingly. It does not feel its weight or its size. And with that 6.2 litre muscle up front and then that lovely whine from the supercharger, which by the way, has got modifications of its own. Gary was saying that the supercharger intake has been ported and polished, so it's really smooth. And so it's just optimized, not just for performance, but for noise. <laughs> now, one interesting thing I've noticed is the traction's really good. We're running a sticky set of Continentals that are very track optimized. With not much in the way of tread block, there's just a lot of rubber, which is excellent because the sun is shining here at Rockingham today. And that will bode very well for our lap time. And the brakes are really good as well. I mean, I noticed it doesn't have drilled or slotted discs but they're really big and really powerful brakes. So this thing has no trouble stopping. It does feel its weight at points, but I think it's probably just because it's so big. But the damping and what Gary's done to the suspension of the chassis, I forgot as well, he's polybushed the rear of the car as well. So it's taken, I can feel it over the bumps, it's taken a bit of the, the flex out of the car and just really stiffened it up. It's not quite as stiff as the ZL1E, which I believe has basically solid bushes, but this thing is close enough and I mean, it's running a touring spec exhaust as well. I forgot to mention that. And there is even a baby booster seat in the back here because Gary carries his kids in this car. Gearbox isn't the sharpest in the world. I mean, we know that. It's not going to be as quick as your PDKs and your Porsches, but you don't really care and you don't really need to use the gears as much as you do in those slightly more power dependent cars. This thing's got the torque to just haul you out of the bends. E.g. right now. <laughs> oh, this is rapid. Balance is lovely, very neutral. I wasn't sure if it was going to be a bit of an oversteering monster because of the weight over the nose. But it turns in wonderfully. It's a monster. <laughs> What's he going to do when we plug in our V box, our race logic, GPS connected, and set it on the stopwatch? Let's find out.
a ride that was. You've probably heard though that it wasn't running perfectly well. I mean, it had a slight misfire or it seems to be hunting for fuel. So there's a little bit of work to be done there, but Gary reckons he can fix it pretty quickly. It just meant I was never running with full throttle. And yet, I don't know what I was using, 600 horsepower maybe, so 170 short of what it can do. And yet it's just a 10th off of an M3 competition. This thing is monstrously fast and it's 1.7 tons, but with these very sticky Continental tires and with that amazing setup, and of course, even when it's got one arm tight behind its back, that monstrous 6.2 litre engine, it is phenomenal. It felt like a GT3 racing car through the bends. I just wanted to keep driving it all day, but I had to bring it back in one piece. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that time, but I reckon there's a whole second, maybe more in this car, because mid corner, when it just wanted to start to rotate, I couldn't quite get back fully on the power to get it to move around. So I definitely think there's an argument for a rematch. Gary has said he'll bring the car back when it's running sweet again. And of course it will be running sweet for the British Motor Show this year, where Gary and the Sporting Bears team will be there. You can actually get in this car and have a passenger ride with Gary behind the wheel, and you can donate as well to the Sporting Bears organization. They do amazing work for children's charities. So make sure you click the link in our description below. Thanks for watching. <laughs>